I'm Eric Hurst, the uh, retired director of the Millersville University Weather Information Center. I spent about 32 years uh, running the Weather Center here at Millersville. Spring and fall season are critical times for farmers. There are also transitional seasons here in Lancaster where there can be stable periods for a week or two and then there can be very unstable, uh, active stormy periods for several days or even a week or two as well. And so that makes it challenging some years for farmers. Uh, if you have a rainy spell or a long dry spell, uh, it can be a little difficult to plan planting versus or in the fall harvesting activities. I've talked to many farmers and it, it always surprises me how uh, attuned, uh, at least the lifelong farmers become quite attuned to the weather. Uh, they can almost intuit sometimes uh, how the weather's gonna play out on any given day. And they also know how to seize the moment. If you've been in a rainy pattern and then there's a break with high pressure uh, moving in for a few days, they know how to seize that moment and, and get the job done. And I find that quite fascinating. I think next to professional meteorologists, it's farmers and pilots that I actually have the most impressive grasp on the atmosphere. Temperature wise, uh, it's highly variable here in uh, the Lancaster area. Uh, during the winter, we can get down to zero and on rare occasions below zero. And during the summer, we can on occasion touch the 100 degree mark, though more commonly in midsummer, high temperatures are between 85 and 90 degrees. One of the most important tools for weather forecasters are computer models, which are very complex programs that simulate the movements in the atmosphere. Now, when these models were first developed back in the 70s, they were very basic, very simple, only a few thousand lines of code, and they could give you a sense of the patterns for maybe two or three days into the future. By the 1980s, we were able to forecast fairly accurately five days into the future, and today the best models allow us to look eight to ten days into the future with a high degree of accuracy. Uh, July is the warmest month, uh, and one common problem is if you uh, lack summer th uh, afternoon thunderstorms, you can dry out quite quickly. In fact, when highs are consistently in the 80s, about an inch of water equivalent evaporates out of the soil per week. Tornadoes are a small concern here in uh, Lancaster. They're not uh, frequent, but they're also not all that rare. Here in Lancaster, we're actually one of the counties in Pennsylvania that's most likely to see a tornado. Now, the tornadoes tend to be very brief. They last a few minutes. They touch down and maybe track for just a mile or two. So they're nothing like the tornadoes that affect the Midwest or the Deep South. Tornado season here is uh, late spring into midsummer. So days that have thunderstorms in the forecast, especially if there's a severe thunderstorm watch, that's the type of day where potentially a tornado could occur. But again, they're very rare events. I think every decade Lancaster County has two or three touchdowns within the county. And again, they tend to be small, so the likelihood of a tornado hitting Lancaster City or your neighborhood is really small. You know, I'm a native of Lancaster County, so of course I love uh, the local terrain and the climate here. But I've also traveled around the country and uh, have observed and experienced uh, climates in many different areas. But I think one of the things that keeps bringing me back and while, uh, why I still live in Lancaster all these years is the fact we have four definitive seasons. Winters, while not always snowy, tend to bring a few pretty good snowstorms. Spring tends to be damp and showery, but also some beautiful sunny spring days as we've been seeing recently. Summer can be hot, and quite nice for going to the swimming pool or driving to the shore. And then fall, of course, we have the leaves turning and the first frost on the pumpkins and uh, the local football season with chilly Friday nights. What's not to love living here in Lancaster County?